Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in the TCS NQT exam for 2023 batch students. These coding questions that I will be discussing in the video was asked today only. That is on 18th August 2022. In this video, I will be discussing one coding question, and in coming upcoming videos also, I will be discussing one one question each in the videos. So guys. Make sure that you subscribe this channel and do not forget to hit the subscribe button as well as that bell icon so that you can get the notifications of the videos that I am posting. Guys, please do subscribe this channel and please do comment on this channel that yes, you want these type of videos so that I can post continuously because your likes, your subscribes only give me motivation for making such videos. Okay, and guys, for your uh, for your easiness, I am making a separate playlist on my channel that is TCS NQT. Advanced coding questions to the 23 batch students. Okay, so in this particular playlist, currently it is empty, but now I am starting to make videos for this playlist. That is, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked, which will be asked in the ongoing TCS NQT hiring for 2023 batch students, and I will be posting videos only after the only after a particular slot exam is over, so that nobody can cheat in this exam. Okay, and the coding questions do not repeat. The main motive of these videos are to Are to tell you that what type of question and what level of the questions are asked in the interview uh, uh, in this exam, okay? And guys, on my channel, many interview experiences for TCS are also there. For different companies are also there. Many coding questions for different different companies are there. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you get a notification. In this video, I'll be discussing one coding question that was asked in today's TCS NQT hiring. And coming videos, I'll be discussing more such questions, okay? So let's just start the video and please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be discussing the question. Then we will be discussing the approach of that question, and in the later part of the video, I will tell you how to write the code for the same in the uh, in the exam. Okay, so let's just start by reading the question first. You are given two binary numbers. What are binary numbers? They are in the form of zero and one. Okay, now in the form of string, you are given two binary numbers in the form of a string. Okay. Find out whether there is a possibility whether these numbers can become equal by rearranging their respective zeros and ones. So, what we are uh, given the question? See, we will be given a string that will be containing only zero and one. Now, two strings will be given to us. Now, we have to rearrange the zeros and ones in those strings so that both the strings can become equal. If both, if by rearranging both the strings can become equal, then we will have to output the value as yes. Otherwise, if the We are rearranging also. The two given strings uh, cannot become equal. Then we will have to output the value as no. Okay. So I hope now uh, this particular statement of the question is clear to you. The more we will understand with the help of example. Let's just see. Okay. So we are given here. For example, here you can see uh, it is given. Uh, just a second. Okay. So it is given that we are given two strings, one zero one and zero one one. Now these two strings are given to us. Now you can see that one zero one and zero one one can be arranged within themselves to become either one zero one or zero one one. So we can rearrange both of these strings like so. First of all, first string can also be rearranged like this, and second string is like this only. Okay. Now next next possibility is that uh, what we do we uh, we do not uh, rearrange the first string. First string remains like this only, and the next string that is zero one one we become uh, we rearrange like this. So here you can see by single rearrangement only. These two strings can become equal. Okay, so therefore we will output our yes that by rearranging the number of uh, by rearranging the zeros and ones in these strings, these two strings can can become equal. So we will output as yes. But if this is not the case, then we'll simply output as no. Okay. Now let's just see what will be the input that uh, that will be given to you. So input con uh, consists of three inputs are there. First is the length of the input string. Okay. First is the length of the input string. Then next is the input string one. Next is the input string two. So all three inputs will be given to you. First will denote the length of the string, and next two inputs will be these two different strings, which will be binary strings that will contain only zero and one. So now I hope the question is clear to you. Now let's just see how we can approach this question. Okay. So this question is very simple. See, in TCS NQT exam, there will be two questions. Both of those questions will be under the category of advanced coding question, but Out of those two question, one question will be of easy level, and another will, another question will be of medium level. Okay, so this is the easy one. I will make more videos of the uh, medium question also, but this question is easy one. So what we we have to do? We have to find a way wherein we can arrange 
we can arrange these two strings to become equal if we can find a way then we will print yes if we cannot find a way we will simply print no okay so how we can do it so we are given two strings here we can uh, we can write 101 and 011 okay now this is mandatory that the length of both these strings that is this string also and this string also the length of both these strings will be equal here you can see the length of this uh, length of this string is 3 and this string is also 3 so here in the initially only it is given the length of the input strings will be 3 so both of these input strings will have the same length now this is a this is where we get an idea that how we can solve it so what we'll do what we will do we will simply count the number of ones in the string ones in the uh, we will count the number of ones and zeros okay so in the first string the number of ones are the number of ones are two okay in the first string in the first string the number of ones are two the number of zeros are then it is one okay in the next string, in the next string, that is the second string, again we will count the number of 1s and number of zeros. What are the number of 1s? Number of 1s are 2, number of zeros are 1 only. Okay. So now see, when, when we have these strings, when we have two strings with same amount of number of 1s and with same amount of number of zeros. Okay. When we have the two strings with same amount of number of 1s and same amount of number of zeros, then it is obvious, it is obvious that we can rearrange these ones and two uh, ones and zeros in any order okay we can arrange these in any order and we can ar also arrange these in any order so once the number of ones and number of zeros in both the strings are same in both the string if they are equal number of ones as well as number of zeros are equal then yes the answer will always be yes that yes we can arrange we can arrange these two strings to form the same number or you can say same string now let's just take one more example if there is some certain confusion now let's just see here now we take again we take the uh, length of the string as 3 only so both the strings will have 3 length only okay now next uh, first string is triple one next string is double one zero okay so these are two strings now can we arrange them in any order such that these two uh, these two strings can become same so here let's just count number of ones number of ones is three number of zeros is zero in the next string the second string number of ones is two number of zeros is one so can we arrange any of these strings so that two strings can become equal so the answer is no with this configuration that is number of ones and number of ones in both the strings are different with this configuration we cannot arrange these two strings by any method when so that these two strings can become equal so there is no way of arranging this string or this string to so that the two strings become equal okay so here the answer will be no so the crust of this question or you can say the main part of this question is that we will calculate the number of ones and number of zeros in both these strings. If the number of ones and number of zeros in both these strings are equal, then our answer will always be yes. Otherwise, our answer will be no. So I hope now the question as well as the approach is clear to you that we have to simply calculate the number of ones and number of zeros in both these strings. And based on those values, we will print yes or no. So I hope now the approach is clear to you. Now let's just move towards the coding part. Okay. Uh, okay, so guys for saving time I have already written the code. So let's just understand the code one by one because in TCS NQT compiler you will have to write every each and every line on your own that is from libraries to taking input you will have to write on your own. Okay, so first of all you will have to I am writing this code in C++. Okay, you can choose any language Python or Java. So first of all you will include these libraries. Then you will write the main function. Then you remember that first input was the length of the string. So int n denotes the length of the string. Next are the two strings that is S1 and S2 that will be in binary form that is 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, like this. Then we will be taking two strings as input. Okay. Now what I will do, we, I have told you the main aim of the question was, uh, main solution of the question was, we have to count the number of ones in both S1 and S2 and we will have to count the number of zeros in both S1 and S2. So for counting ones and zeros, we will require four variables. Okay. So we have defined four variables. That is, first I will count, uh, that is counting one in the first string. Next is counting 0 in the first string. Next is counting 1 in the second string. Next is counting 0 in the second string. Okay. So these are the four variables. Now what we'll do, we'll iterate over each of these strings. First we'll iterate over S1 and then we'll iterate over S2. So now why we are iterating it? So that we can note the number of, uh, so that we can increment the value of count. That is how many 1s and zeros are present in that string. So if our current value for first we are iterating S1. So if our S of i, that is current value of i is 1 then we are incrementing the count of 
number of ones in the first string two plus plus else we are incrementing the value that uh, the current value is zero so we are incrementing that the count of uh, number of zeros in the first string are plus plus okay so these two variables are for the first string similarly we are now after uh, trading the first string now we are trading the second string again we are um, Again, we are counting the number of ones in, and number of zeros in the second string. Okay, and we are updating the corresponding variables. Now, once we have iterated to two strings, now we have the number of ones in the first string and second string, and number of zeros in the second string and the first string. Okay, so now we will compare the values. Now, if our number of ones in both the strings are equal, okay, and if our, the number of zeros in both the strings are equal, then we'll print yes that we can reorder, rearrange a particular string to make two strings equal. I hope this is understandable. That is, if the number of ones in both the strings are equal and number of zeros in both the strings are equal, then we will print out. Then we'll print yes. Else, if any of this condition is not matching, then we'll print no. So I hope now the entire code is clear to you. This is how you will have to write the code in the exam if it comes to you. Okay. So now let's just uh, test on certain test cases. So first of all, we are taking again uh, th length of the string is three, and we are inputting one zero one zero one one. Okay. So let's just see what will be output. The expect expected output is yes. <clears throat> okay. So you can see here the expected output is yes. Now let's just change the strings. The first string becomes triple one, and the next string becomes zero one one. So there is no way of rearranging one and two strings for making them equal. So let's just run it. So we are expected value is no. So it should come out as no. Okay. Okay. So you can see here no is coming out. So guys. This was it for this video. I hope you understood the code, and this will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. And guys, if you have not subscribed the channel till now, please subscribe it. More videos of these coding questions will be uh, will be present in this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it. Okay. So do subscribe the channel, do like this video, and please comment down that yes, you want more such videos. I will be happy to make it. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.